What's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, man. I'm about to go on vacation for the next couple of days, so I just want to make this a quick video, real quick. Uh, we're going into 2024, um, and a lot of people tell me, Mark, New Year's not till spring, blah, blah, blah. That's old news, guys. Okay, but we're in Babylon. We're in the land of confusion, so everybody is confused. So I just say, you know, 2024. When you write your checks, when you go to school, and you write your name on the paper, and you put the date, you put two, you put January 1st, 2024, okay? So let's chill out with all that. Anyways, uh, when you go into the, into the new year, what goals do you have down, man? I'm very proud of myself, guys. Don't wait for someone to clap for you, clap for yourself. If you, if you accomplish your goals, uh, or if you did more than you, what you expected, clap for yourself. Don't wait for someone else to do it, okay? Uh, I remember 2022, um, I had just gotten married, and I had nothing, bro. I had nothing, nothing. <laughs> Literally had nothing, guys. But I had a lot of goals. I'm like, you know, I just got married. And, uh, you know, I'm about to have, um, well, I didn't know at the time back then, but I wanted to have a child. Uh, now I have two. But back then, I was like, you know, I'm about to have a child. You know, I got to go hard for my family. Like, I can't have nothing, bro. Like, so I had goals for myself. And there were some sins I was struggling with and, you know, some strong goals I had to break free from, some generational curses. And I feel like that should be your main goal going into 2024, guys, is breaking free from the strongholds. Whatever sin that's keeping you in bondage, um, break free. That should be your number one goal, guys. Getting right with the most high, getting your spirit right, uh, seeking him wholeheartedly should be your number one priority. Because once you put that, once you put the most high first, everything just flows. Everything goes in order. And that's how it's supposed to be. It's very simple. Like it's very, it's not complicated, but you know, it, it's, it's hard though, you know, following after God and you know, uh, that's, that's hard in the society because it's a demonic, pagan, wicked society we live in. So uh, that's number one, right? 2022. And I wanted, I wanted my vessel to be used by God. I got down and I, and I, and I was doing the things I had to like God was preparing my, my journey before I even knew it, you know, because I read the entire Bible back from front to back twice almost three times and i didn't i didn't do that because like you know i was gonna be oh i just took the wrong exit no <laughs> oh man i gotta start looking at the map more it's hard to look at the map and then and then drive anyways um what was that saying oh yeah so it was hard like like when i read the bible like i didn't i didn't read the bible to like oh i'm gonna teach people i just read the bible because i wanted to you know feed myself i you know like i tell you guys all the time when you read your bible for yourself you can't be deceived by anybody you can't you just can't you can't be fooled you can't be manipulated uh and that's why a lot of people are are deceived by you know ravenous wolves or just you know some people in general evil and you know devils and demons in general because they don't read their bible and if they do read their bible they're just living a lukewarm lifestyle and you know you reap what you sow in life okay so Going into 2024, guys, your number one priority, man, is seeking out the most high with all your heart, all your mind, body, and your soul. And let me tell you guys this about the level up, the glow up. Woo! <laughs> the glow up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I actually had one of my brothers, like one of my best friends, like for the past almost a decade now. Um, he was overcoming a, a sin, and he gave that up, and... Like, and I realized, like, I, you know, I started realizing, like, dang, like, you, you gave up that sin that was keeping you in bondage. Now, notice how God removed all the dead weight out of your life. Like, literally all his friends, like, well, not all of them, but most of them, they all just, you know, just disappeared. They all exposed themselves. And that's how it is. And I was just telling them, like, that's exactly what happened to me. Like, when it's time to ascend, guys, when God's taking you to a place where certain people can't go, he will remove them from your life. That's confirmation that you're about to level up 100%. Or you probably already leveled up. Oh, I got to get gas. I gotta get gas, man. <laughs> I'm driving right now, guys. My fault. I just remembered. Dang, I got some food with me too. Oh, I don't want it to get cold, but but yeah, guys, that's confirmation 100 percent when God is removing people, the dead weight out of your life. Uh people who can't go where you're going. Um, no matter and, and guys, when God is doing that, no matter how much ties you have to that individual. Uh, it's not always a friend. It could also be a relationship too as well or a family member. No matter what ties you have with that person, how much you love that person, no matter what memories y'all got, y'all went to high school together, whatever, right? Uh, God is doing that for a reason. And it doesn't mean that you have to hate the person, talk down on the person or just, you know, things of that nature. It just means that where you're going, they can't go. They can't come. 
And yeah, you might feel some type of way. You might be sad depending on how long you knew the individual. But it is what it is, guys. Like if I were to hold on to the dead weight when God was clearly removing someone out of my life, I would have been stagnant. I wouldn't have been where I am at today, you know? And that's what comes with obedience, okay? Um, like I said, guys, the number one thing you want to be doing is seeking out the most high with everything you got. And that's obedience. And when you're obedient, God like literally works in your life. Um, you know, I'm a true believer in James chapter two, verse 26, where it says faith without works is dead. Okay, so yes, you want to have faith, but as you have faith, you put it in the works. Even removing people out of your life, guys, that is a work, okay? Um, praying and, you know, being obedient, that is a work, okay? So it's not just you, it's not just physical labor, but it also could be spiritual labor, labor too as well, okay? So when you're doing that, hold on, I gotta turn real quick. When you're doing that, you're gonna start to see God start to move in your life and you're gonna see it. Like a lot of people say, I want, you know, I want God to do something. I want uh, God to move in my life. A lot of God's always moving in our life when you're obedient, but sometimes people don't pay attention to it. You know, always be sober and, uh, and, you know, and be watchful. And I'm telling you guys, God, you'll see the most high, the almighty literally move in your life. And, uh, one thing what these devils and demons do too, when it comes to the level up, um, these demons are going to try to attack. These demons are going to try to tempt you. Okay, because we all know that's not God tempting us according to the scriptures. So it's, a, it's, it's evil, the evil, the spiritual wickedness in high places. And they want you to grow, draw back. They don't want you to extend. Okay. And um, one thing that I noticed that kept me very stagnated on my walk was being around certain individuals. You know, the Bible says that evil communications will corrupt your good manners. Okay. So sometimes God has to remove. If you don't want to remove out of your life, God will try. Now, of course, you know. Some people are disobedient. Some people, sometimes God try to remove someone, but they don't listen. So you know, it's only so much God could do if you're not if you're, if you're not doing nothing about it. So um, faith without works is dead, man. When you see God moving, uh, you gotta hearken to the Holy Spirit, man. Hearken to His voice, and uh, you know, keep His commandments, so you'll live and you'll be blessed. You'll be you'll be plentiful. And yeah, man. So yeah, 2024, guys. A lot of people. This is just a truth. I know it's sad news, but a lot of people, guys, they won't make it to the next year. You know, some people are going to be drinking and driving. Some people are going to be doing things that shouldn't should be doing. So if you are going to be, you know, having a good time or whatever, make sure you're, you're smart about it. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, you know, you, you know, if you have fun, you know, I'm not like these overly religious people. You're having fun, have fun, but just, you know, be, be smart. Okay. Um, you could go. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 you. Man, I don't like making car vlogs, man. This would be distracting me, man, but... Uh, anyways, yeah, like I just, you know, I just wanted to just get this message for you guys, man. That's the first thing for you guys who have, you know, 2024 resolutions and, you know, you got goals and, and plans and, you know, things that you want to, um, you know, do in life. That's great. You want to be motivated. You want to be inspired. That gives you hope, uh, you know, then, you know, like as long as you're putting the most high first, anything that you do, you're going to win. You're going to win in life. Now be patient. A lot of people are not patient. They want it quick. They want the fast, the fast dopamine rush, you know, the instant dopamine. And, uh, you don't want to be like that. You know, you want to be patient and you want to, you know, want to slowly labor, slowly, slowly uh, gather increase. And, um, yeah, man, it's just, it's just a man, like, man, looking back in life, man, like this is the best thing that I ever did in life is seek out God wholeheartedly, give my life to Christ and uh you know do his will do the father's will this is the best thing that i ever did in my life man and i want that to happen to all you guys watching this video too even the people a lot of people watching me guys are atheists um you know muslims people of the different faith but i i encourage you guys to you know start building your relationship with jesus christ and start and you're, you're gonna start to see a lot of things be manifest to you man you're gonna see a lot of stuff that you know that you didn't know you know, humble yourself and, and draw closer to him and he'll draw closer to you. So with that being said, it's a short video. Love you guys so much. If you guys made it this far, like, subscribe, share. I'm out. Peace.